Hi, this is a tutorial of the Oscilloscope Head Kit 010. Um, this is an old oscilloscope, a uh, vintage oscilloscope from 1969. So I will explain the different parts of the oscilloscope and uh, at some point I will use this, uh, this signal generator to show some some signals here okay so what what are we seeing here is a signal that comes from the oscilloscope that is one volt okay this is just one volt uh, coming from here uh, a signal a sinusoidal signal shown there okay and this flickering that you have is is due to uh, to that the this these two do not have special persistence Okay, at low sweep rates, 30 cycles or less, the screen has insufficient persistence to provide a steady picture. Uh, this uh, flicker is inherent uh, with medium persistence screens at low sweep rate. This is really 50 Hz that is uh, as you see is flickering. In higher frequencies, we will see that this flickering is not, is not happening. Okay, so let me explain a bit on different uh, things. Based on this, I connected uh, the vertical input to the one volt. Okay, so um, I have to say that the, the controls can be divided in into groups with the specific functions. Two knobs marked as intent and focus uh, control the quality of the trace. The intent control is the switch, so you switch on and off the oscilloscope, but also control this uh, intense control adjusts the brightness and the focus control the sharpness of the trace. Okay, you see? This is the sharpness of the trace. Okay. Um, also, there are other uh, two knobs that are marked vertical position and horizontal position, okay? This control the location of the trace on the screen. So if we turn the vertical knobs uh, up or, or down, okay, you see it moves up and down, okay? Up and down, okay? And if we use the horizontal one, it will move from one side to the other, okay? Uh, also, there is one knob uh, marked as horizontal gain, that is this one, and it varies the width of the pattern of this on the screen. Okay, okay, so you see the width of the pattern. Okay. And uh, there are two knobs marked vertical gain and vertical input uh, these two control the height of the pattern on the screen so this vertical gain you see you could reduce or increase and this is a multiplier factor so x1 is multiplied by one this is one volt this is a, a, a division okay so if i say x10 it will divide by 10 you see so you have to increase the vertical gain and by 100 Okay, so let's keep it here because it's just one bolt. Okay, uh, the phase knob controls, this is the phase knob, controls the phase shift of the line frequency voltage used for sinusoidal, sinusoidal sweep. And there are three knobs marked as horizontal frequency selector, frequency vernier, and sync amplitude that control operations of the sweep generator, okay? The, here you have like different jumps from 10 to, between 10 to 100 uh, cycles, 100 to 1000 cycles, one, uh, 10 kilocycles and so on, okay? So now you have this frequency and 
with the frequency vernier you change the frequency between the two values okay between 10 and 100 and uh, so on okay you see so we're changing the this is the the frequency of the of the sweep of the sweep signal okay the sweep generator and uh, when you have something like uh, let's say um, something that moves let me see if I could create something that you see um, okay sometimes the signal just drift okay so you correct this drift with the sync amplifier okay this one doesn't drift but if you have some drift you could correct that with you see okay you have this drift and you correct that with the sync amplifier uh, uh, a sync amplitude okay uh, also i uh, have to say that the horizontal frequency selector this one this uh, switch uh, performs additional functions so apart from these frequencies you have this line a sweep and this external input so external input uh, this one when when the signal is here external input you, you see it stops it just stops is because the the um, because it is binding the input to the to this one the horizontal input okay so this uh, input grid is the one that goes to the horizontal amplifier system and the seed generator and generator is not operating. Let me see if I could show you an example. Okay, let me uh, show you what I did. So I put in the external input, okay? And now uh, instead of a cell tooth coming from inside of the of the sweep generator with the different frequencies it comes directly from here and they generate this cell tooth from this uh, signal generator 50 hertz okay so is the same frequency is uh, giving through here and i am applying this cell tooth with 50 uh, cycles okay this is the reason i could see exactly uh, one uh, cycle okay you see if i for example double the or, or reduce to the half the cycle so i go to 25 let me go to 25 here okay i could see two cycles okay if i go to the double or so to 100 what i get is half of the cycle it's not uh, really clear in this in this scope but is that way okay let me go to 50 cycles so this is the way uh, you could work and if you change the if you change the the kind of wave instead of using a triangle wave uh, you use just um, uh, just a uh, sine wave okay let me put it properly okay you could get this kind of thing that should be a circle but okay the oscilloscope is not well calibrated but should be a circle okay and um, if I change the frequency you see what could happen with with this circle okay okay so this is about this um, this input so the interesting thing of this input is that i am applying a sine wave okay it's 50 hertz at uh, this moment is five volts but if i move to a uh, line it's the same but instead of the uh, of introducing a wave through here we take the line so the sign from the from the power supply so we go there and we get something very very similar okay so 
playing with the horizontal and vertical we could make it more round okay so that is uh, more or less the idea okay and the last thing to explain is this this selector this sync selector switch that operate as follows this is minus int and plus int uh, in these positions the sweep generator is operating furnishing so tooth sweep at any frequency within its range okay synchronized with the signal applied at the vertical input binding post okay also there is this line Line the sweep generator is operating, furnishing cell tooth sweep at any frequency within its range, but synchronized with the line frequency harmonics. Okay, so there is, in this case, is similar. And in the case of X sync sweep, in that case, um, it would be the same as line, but synchronized with any signal applied to X sync to this one. Okay, X sync binding post. Okay. Also, I have to to say that anyway, the the manufacturer says in in the in the manual that uh, the nonlinearity of the sweep speed up to 20% is normal, okay? So it's, it's not linear, it's normal to see a wave like that and with some difference uh, in the width of this wave and this wave is normal up to 20%, okay? That is the typical spacing between peaks of a sine wave may be different by as much as 20%, okay? Uh, from extreme left side of the screen to the extreme right side of this, uh, this screen. And but so, so far I could apply different functions just to, to show. I will uh, change and instead of giving this one, I will give the input from the, from the wave generator. Okay, I'm apply, applying five volts instead of one volt. So uh, let's use the X10 and move it from somewhere here, apply the focus and increase the vertical gain. Okay. Okay, and I could change like uh, different frequencies. I could increase the frequency and I'm 300 hertz and so on. I could go to 500 hertz and uh, increase here. So it's uh, yeah, it's and I could go lower and uh, I could use now I'm at 100 hertz okay okay and I could change the the kind of wave so for example I this is a square wave um, this is a half wave, a full wave, I will try to, okay, uh, also this is a kind of post ladder, uh, negative ladder, uh, noise, uh, rising, value, lo uh, decay, multi-tone sign so I could play with different waves 
Okay. And it works not so bad. Okay. I don't know if I have other Lawrence arbitrary. Okay. Multi tone. Okay. So that um, also I could put like the. I think there is a kind of triangle. Okay. This is a triangle one. The square one. The sinusoidal one. The sine one. Okay. So that's all so far. This is what you could do with this kind of scope. It's not so bad. It's an old scope and these are things that you could do with this interesting machine. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye.